Welcome, NBA fans. We are looking at all the NBA news going down for free agency, what's happened so far. Um, we'll just go down the list of pretty much what we have had today. Um, of course, Kyrie Irving decides to stay with Luka in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Um, he got three Luka years, 126. Uh, yeah. The third year is a player option. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, bro. When I seen that, I first thing I thought was like, that's a tradable contract. Mm. Like a team who's trying to fill a max contract. Like, I, I just think the Lakers might go after him still. Mm. Mm. With who? I don't know. It's hard to tell depending on how they spend money today. But, I mean, I think the Lakers would go like, after him maybe. I mean, no one else was really offering anything for him, right? Except different mid-level exceptions. I don't think anybody else offered him anything. Yeah, he said he wanted a long-term deal, which he wasn't going to get more than two from the Rockets and I believe the Raptors. I mean, this is two with a player option, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you'll get one year out of them, then he'll request a trade. Well, that's perfect because that fits the timeline for a team like uh, Philly. Yeah, mm. I agree. I think it is a tradable because people still want Kyrie for some reason year after year. And Dallas, it's yeah. abund- yeah. it, it's abundantly obvious that he he if you take him out of the major markets, he'll behave. Yeah. Mm. Well, and and then people were like, "Why did they pay him so much if no one was bidding against them?" And it's like, well, with Kyrie, if you don't do well by him, he's gonna want out. Like if they didn't give him that money. He would maybe be petty and take a mid level somewhere else. Like you gotta pay him what he thinks he's worth. I think if I'm a team like Utah, I might consider going after Kyrie with that. You wouldn't want to be in Utah. I mean, you think I'm about- glad he went to Dallas because that just means he, the steps you were making to make your defense better uh, stops right there because your defense sucked with him and Luke. Luca on the perimeter. This team caps out at a five seed. I don't see how they're any better than a five seed in the West <laughs> with a rookie center, Rashawn Holmes maybe also playing center. Mm-hmm. Who are you who are you using to get stops? You don't, because I even think that they projected Lively to start at center, Holmes behind him. I think I seen Kleba as the projected four. So you're not switching pick and rolls. You're gonna suck. So what what do y'all grade this? Uh, I mean, we know Luca probably had a key part in keeping. Kyrie. I give it a I give it an A minus because, I mean, for one, it's hard enough to negotiate with Kyrie. Two, you protected your investment in getting him, so like you had to do what you had to do to keep him. So, yeah, I give it an A minus. I think it'll be plus, but yeah, I agree. You you had to keep him after trading for him. So, yeah, we'll go A minus. I'll go with the B plus, just because. Yeah. I think he could have gone somewhere else. Um, Draymond Green stays with the Golden State Warriors. He said, I love it. He said the biggest thing is, why would I leave Steph Curry when we have something good going? Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. I, this is when everyone was saying the Kings and all these other teams at Detroit. Mike Draymond's saying, especially after the pool trade, and he said it during the draft, like them trading pool meant they're giving that money to Draymond or they're okay extending Draymond. They, they want to run this back again. It's favorable also. I think that it kind of puts you in a position to not be stressed about re-signing Clay mm-hmm. and having the money to do it. So well, I like it. Clay. Huh? You don't give Clay the max anymore, do you? I don't. If he chooses to leave because he thinks he's worth it, then I don't fault him for that. But he knows. It's like you're not who you used to be at all. Yeah. Yeah. I think those guys genuinely enjoy playing with each other. So I could see Clay taking a more favorable deal too next year. But don't you think like the same thing Draymond got is what Clay is worth? Like I'm okay with paying you 25. No. No. And he's not worth 25? Not anymore. Because I didn't feel I felt like he had a, a drop off in his play a little bit, but I also felt like he could give you more of old Clay if you shrank his minutes. Like he he goes harder for shorter. 
And I was like, okay, I've seen old Clay this year, but he can't give it to you all the time. But I still think that he's worth the 25 a year. Maybe 25 a year for the first year, but you don't want to be paying him 25 three years from now. If he's been okay, what if he tells you he wants 30 for shorter years? Like two years for 60? What about three years for 90? Uh, I mean, it's not his fault. Okay, how about this? Two years for 60 with a team option for a third year. Yeah. All right. If I'm Mike Denlevy Jr., I'm doing that. But it's no disrespect. Uh, It's not like Mark Jackson. No disrespect to Clay, but, I mean, he got those major injuries, and he just hasn't been the same. And he works his ass off, and he's one of the hardest working guys. So it's it's tough to see. And I'm not saying he's washed. I I think he could be better than he was last year with Mm -hmm. more um, continuity. But I would just worry about giving him anything more than three. I would be worried about giving him three years. So, yeah, maybe two with an option. But back to the Draymond signing, I love it. Like, it's keeping teams together, especially dynasties like that. I, I'm always a fan of that. I root for it. Yeah, I give that an A. Yeah, I give that an A also. I agree, an A. Um, move on to another guy that's staying with his team. Chris Middleton stays with the Bucks. $102 million for three years, player option in year three. Love it. I, I like it, too, for the same reasons I like Draymond. It's like, you're the core of that team. You know what I mean? So yeah. I just always felt like if once you get rid of, a like, a major core piece like that, then you might as well just blow it all up. Yeah. They, if you lose they're Mil- not ready to do that. So you had to resign him. Yeah. If you lose Middleton for nothing, that sets you back. And I knew Middleton. Lopez I'm, I'm getting worried about, and we'll talk about that later, but – with Middleton, I mean, they had to meet the the uh, potential head coaches. Like, you don't do that if you're not resigning. That's why I wasn't really worried about Chris leaving. And he, he loves Milwaukee, and he loves being there. And um, him and Giannis have been together for a long time now. So, yeah, solid deal. I like having – I like this a little bit shorter just because of his injury history. Mm-hmm. And we'll see when we get there two years from now if he picks up that option. But um, – yeah, for as frustrating as it can be going through the Chris roller coaster of looks like one of the best 25 players, one playoff game, the next game he can't hit a shot, and then he gets hurt. It, it's it's definitely a, a ride, but I mean, he won he's won them a lot of playoff games, not only in the finals run, but years before, and he's the only real half court shot career that they have, um, at least from mid range perimeter. So I love it. And plus, it's like you if as a New coach, I would like to know what my system, like what I have as soon as I come in to know what I can do. And then you know exactly what Middleton is in that offense with Giannis and how Giannis is going to play off him. So I like it. I give it a A minus. Solid A. I agree. I, I looked at the numbers. Uh, Milwaukee's net rating is 2.5 points better when they Giannis and Middleton play together. So, I mean, you couldn't break that up. Um. Some breaking news, nothing major, but Josh Richardson has agreed on a two-year deal with the Miami Heat. You are correct. That is not major. Exactly. So we move on to Kyle (laughs) Kuzma stays with the Wizards on a $102 million deal for four years. All right. I was surprised by this for a couple of reasons. One, I thought Kuzma was going to go to a splashier team. And two, I, I thought he was going to be like the the team that uh, teams with cat space would bid themselves against. Like I thought maybe y'all in Houston, Sacramento, Detroit would all be throwing money at Kuzma because he's a solid 3 and D wing. And the Wizards, it's like, what are they doing? Are they blowing it up? Are they trying to remain somewhat relevant? I mean, you have to pay someone. You have to hit the floor. I was just surprised. I, I mean, it's cool. Good for him for sticking around in DC, but yeah, I was a little. I thought that it was like fair market price for him. I'm not saying he's overpaid. I, mean, I just don't know why why he would stay. Jordan Poole, bro. I, that, Jordan that's a good Poole, question. Bro. Yeah, no, actually, I think that he wants to that like he he can go into camp and say this. I have the chance to take this as my team, and we know he's not that guy. We know it, but I mean he. He can kind of try to be, pretend to be. And he even got paid less than Cam Johnson. So him and 
to me, like I was like, it's fair, fair price. Him and Poole are gonna have what 20, 25 shots a game each. It's gonna be crazy. I think it's gonna be harder for Kuzma. I hate to say this because I'm not a Kuzma hater, but I'm not a fan either. Because I remember one game he played the Rockets this year and he shot us out of it. And I was like, damn, we got beat by Kuzma's three point shooting. But my point being is, is I remember we lost that game because we weren't worried about you. We were worried about Porzingis. We were worried about Bradley Beal. Guess what? They're gone. You want to be the guy, then show me that you can get buckets with that bullshit bro, one-two jo- crossover. Jordan Poole's chunking up 30 shots a game, bro. I, w- I wanted to see Kuzma. I agree. And, but I wanted to see Kuzma in, like, Utah. I thought Utah would be a cool fit. A team on the rise could use his, use his perimeter defense. But, I mean, Kuzma. Now, the sh- – the shocking part to the Kuzma signing was, is like, didn't you guys literally just move up in the draft to draft somebody that plays that position? What? You, the kid from France? Yeah. Oh, think, yeah. So yeah, don't take his minutes. <laughs> See? I mean, four years, $102 million, You could easily move that at some point if you want to. Oh, so for sure. I'm thinking it was more of a keep our guy. If it, we need to trade him out, we get some assets for him. To get four. Because the alternative being what? Stuck there, like Houston with a pocket full of money and nothing to spend yeah, on? Yeah, nothing yet. So. Yeah, that's a great trade deadline guy. Um, Let's look at champion Bruce Brown to the Indiana Pacers. Get paid. Um, that, 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 well, no, because uh, that came out after the fact that that's a one and one. Like one year and then team yeah, option on yeah. the second year. But he still got over twenty million, so I, I'm happy. I'm a Bruce Brown fan. I like how he plays basketball. I don't think there's a team on the in this league that he couldn't play on. Like he could play on any yeah. team. And there wasn't a market for him last year, which was stupid. I don't know why no one wanted him. And I really thought a contender would would go for him. A lot of Lakers rumors with Brown, but I mean they obviously couldn't match that offer. So for him, I love it. You just got a ring. Screw it. Go make your money. Play with Halliburton. Maybe even put up more stats, and then, I mean, it's a much, you know, so. They said he he's probably going to get a start the way it looks like. So I mean, he definitely wasn't going to get that in Denver. Yeah, so. I can't start your boy from Houston. Oh yeah, they're going to start Jarris Walker at the four, Miles Turner at the five, probably Bruce Brown at the three, oh. Benedict <laughs> Matherin coming off the bench, like no uh, probably probably Halliburton and Namhart. Duarte is gone now. At the yeah, they traded him to Sacramento. Um, yeah, they want speed up. Oh, Buddy Hill's still there. Oh, right. So Buddy Hill probably be your starting two. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a playing team potentially. No, I think that that's like a six, seven, eight seed. Yeah, play. Well, I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Unless it's a six seed. All right, I, that's what I think of them as—is one of those teams who want to compete for a home court advantage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or that four or five. And I can see them in like a four you know seed I mean? with 20 games left, and they're yeah. fighting for it. Yeah, totally. I don't know if they. I like it. I like it for Bruce Brown. You get coach, and he and he's probably more of an Eastern Conference player to me, anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, he's kind of grimy. He, he's like physical. Like he just plays. I like that. Um, good for him. I give that a B plus. Damn it. I was, was going to say the same thing. Yeah, B plus. All right. I'll agree with you all this time. That's a good score, right? <laughs> now we go into one that, I don't know, I feel is questionable. Um, Jermaine Grant stays with the Trailblazers, $160 million, five years. This is oh, Jeremy, That's crazy. This is contingent on if that's like game was like, I'll stay if we bring Grant back. But even if it is, that's a lot of money for Grant, who who does fit that team well, but not that well. <clears throat> I give that like well. honestly, if Portland is a contender, a, a true championship contender, then Grant would have to be like their third or fourth best player. And you're paying him like a second or first. He's your second best player. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Portland were to actually win a championship or be in contention for a championship, he would have to be the Aaron Gordon for that team. 
What Aaron Gordon just did, that's what Grant has to do. Aaron Gordon ain't getting 160 million dollars. <laughs> I feel like this contract's gonna age poorly too, and everyone's like, "Well, the cap might go up," but still, it's still gonna look bad. It's not gonna be a tradable asset. Who's gonna want to take on that? that much money and then you're paying dame what 40 whatever a year pretty soon here i earlier they said dame had like four years 208 million dollars left on his deal it's like you that is crazy shit. that's 50 something that's like 50 and a half million dollars yeah year. and i was like it was like four years 204 or something like that or 202 something it was weird. but it's like you're paying at 50 million who was bidding against them who else was going for grant nobody you know what? Plus too high. You got a C minus. Maybe even D. That's bad. It's a bad mm. deal. Like granted, even for the quality of the player, you can't give it a little bit better grade. Because I was thinking like a, a B minus or like a. I'm gonna sell a C. Because he is a quality player. Don't get me wrong, but you can't just. It just locks your moves up. If you're Portland and you're saying you want to win now. You can't win now with a guy like that on that deal. And if you're saying you want to start this new generation with Scoot, that also restricts what you can do around Scoot. It doesn't make sense for if you trade Dame or, or keep Dame. I just don't get it. So he's he's their highest, second highest paid player right now. They're saying the reason why they did it was it's going to look more more feasible and palatable after the NBA negotiations on t- new TV rights in 2025, 2026. But you look at his numbers. Yeah, but the average, what are you going to do between now and then? I don't know. That's for Portland to decide. They don't – I I think it also had to do with Lillard saying he wants to see what they do in free agency. But if I'm Lillard, bro, if you're having to pick between this guy or Jimmy Butler, you're tripping, dog. Yeah. I mean, hey, what James Harden just did in Philly, that's another destination you could find yourself going to if you wanted to, Dane. I feel that way. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you can trade me for Harden. You can get one year of his bullshit for $35.5 million, and then you get out from underneath my deal. So I could see that happening. I hope Dane shifts or get off, gets off the pod soon because it's just – I think everyone's tired of hearing about it, and I know he's waiting to see what they do for agency, and I like Dane, but – Come on, do you want to be traded or do you want to stay in Portland? Just and, and everything he said sounds like he wants to stay in Portland, but then he does stuff like post that video with Miami playing in the background. So it's like, what are you? I don't know. Don't tell me you're trying to win if you're telling me you want to stay there because, like, you're not going to rebuild fast enough for you to contend. And you just gave Jeremy Grant 160 million dollars. Traded the so, pig if, if you wanted to be legit at getting him some stuff i want him to do one of two things is either say you want to get traded or say eat just say you know what if they trade me i'm cool with it like i just outright say it or two go talk shit about your center nurkage because he sucks he there you've been way too loyal to that guy you know what i'm saying replace that dude and see what happens trade him to the 1980s <clears throat> real um while we were talking, the Heat have re-signed Kevin Love on a two-year deal with player option to return to Miami. I want the bus. How much? They didn't give a price. It was the Miami. I like team. it. I like, I like it. it. Miami. I like Kevin Love. Because you also got to assume that they're going to play like Jovich next year, maybe. So he don't have to play a lot of minutes. I like it. He was an important guy for them, I think. Underratedly so in that run. Oh, big time. Uh, who did they play in the second round? Knicks. Man, he shot that. He shot lights out the first few games of that series. That's why they won those games. Yeah, they were lighting up. This big ass just can't play all the – he can't play 40 minutes no more. Kevin Love back to Miami. I give that up. Beat. Yeah, I mean it's good that the they didn't let the Lakers steal him away though. He doesn't want to play with LeBron again. No, nah, no. Um, Cameron Johnson stays with the Nets, 108 million for four years. He's another guy that would have fit on any team. I think any team would want him. But yeah, I mean that's one of your biggest gets from the uh, Durant trade, other than Bridges. So. It's kind of like Kyrie where you have to – not like Kyrie in a lot of ways, but just in the way 
you, you should keep the assets that you trade for, I guess. But he's a solid player, and they have a lot of wings and good depth. I think it's a good good move. And that's one that probably won't look as bad three years from now because it's not $160 million and it's uh, <laughs> four years, and he's younger than um, people think. Grant. Yeah. And you, like you just said, he can play on any team, so you can trade him at any time. Yep. You'll never be locked into his deal unless he gets hurt. So I like it. Um, I'll give them a, a B plus for that. It required very little um, strategy and thought, so I can't give you an A. You, like, you did what you were supposed yeah. to, B plus. <laughs> um, Shaka Porto stays with the Raptors. 80 million, four years, player option in year four. I can't go higher than a B on this one as much as I like Porto and – He's a big, big, and he's a, a good center to have. I would have gone over 15 a year. I think 20 years a bit high for someone who can't shoot in today's NBA. I think it's a slight overpay. I I think he's worth it because of his rim protection. I'm okay with it. Like, let me ask you this. Is Yaka Perto a starter in this league? Yeah. Is worth it to Definitely. me. Like I think every position is worth twenty million dollars a year for a starter. Christian but the Williams center position is thinner than other positions. Yeah, but like me and Nick were talking about this yesterday. Is like the next couple free agent classes are are boot their butt. Like they're not good. So at least like you like I said earlier, it's kind of like I have to protect what I have for now because I don't foresee anything coming down the pipeline. What? So, and Toronto doesn't get free agents, which I don't know. I think Toronto's a dope city, and I like Toronto. But I get it; people don't want to move out of the country. Like even Kawhi win, wins the title there, and is like, "Nah, I'm out." They can't pay their out. own big free agents, so it's in that regard, it makes sense that you keep a guy that you had and then traded and then traded back for. I like it. who's the who's the new coach there. Mm, I've read a name. Pronunciation name, I think. Anywho, I, I like Pirtles. I I'm with you though. I'll give that a B B plus. It says over the last oh. three years, he's eleven point five points, eight point eight rebounds, two point five assists, and one point six blocks. Darko Redjakovic. Who the hell is that guy? Oh, I do. He was an assistant for um, yeah. Yeah. Jack Lowe just reported that Fred Van Vliet signing may go long into tonight yeah. on who gets him. <laughs> I do it. Into tonight. At least they did it in June and not on the 4th of July like they did in the past. Hated that shit. Yeah. Where's Gordon Hayward signing for that matter? As a Houston fan, the longer that Fred Van Vliet thing goes, the, the more likely I think it favors us. Yeah. You want him? Surprisingly. No, but <laughs> <laughs> but but we have a lot of money and we have to spend it somewhere. Like like they said, we at the very minimum we have to get to ninety percent of our salary cap. So we have to spend money somewhere. And if we're only giving him a shit ton of money for two years, I literally heard two year eighty five million dollars for free. Solid ball. guy to handle the ball for you guys. Well, that's my thing. Is like if you don't look at stats and. I guess it's okay with me, but if I look at last year's stats, it's like he, he couldn't even give me what Kevin Porter gave me. You know what I mean? So, but I agree with it. He has championship experience. He's a leader. He's healthy for the most part. You don't concern yourself with what he does away from the court. And if he plays one year, you could trade the contract next year. Everybody wants an expiring deal. So I think I'll take five him. years would be a, a bit much. If they give him anything more than two years, I will be shocked. <laughs> Because I think they're just trying to spend money up for a couple years until they have to start extending Jalen, Singoon, and then Jabari and those guys. So for the time being, I think that's why the Van Vliet thing benefits us the longer it goes because Toronto probably gave them a good plea like, hey, we're Toronto. We're the team you want a championship with. Stay here. Be loyal. Take this money. And Houston's like, screw that. I'll give you $45 million a year. So, I mean, I can understand being conflicted on staying home or taking the money. I take the money. Fuck home. Uh, 
Uh, we got Gabe Vincent to the Los Angeles Lakers, $33 million, three years. I give that a solid A. That is a LeBron kind of player, and you got him for $11 million. He do plays defense. He competes. A. A minus. I don't know. It, yeah, you're right. It's not moving the needle a ton. And he's a, Ooh, all those guys are so streaky. Lakers just made another deal. Uh-oh, Restricted is- free agent Ru Hachimura has agreed to a three-year, fifty-one million dollar deal to return to the Lakers. That's like fair. That. That's not enough. I was worried they're going to overpay him because they had a few good playoff games, but that's actually a pretty good deal. Yeah, I combine both of those like into it. an A. Yeah. Yeah, I give. Well, see, it was that three years, fifty-two, sixteen a year, pretty much. Um, yeah, this, this is your that's your bench. I don't know why no one's offering Austin Reeves. Well, they already said the Lakers plan on bringing him back. They're just gonna match whatever offers he. So why not make. jack it up? Houston might that might be what Houston's doing right yeah, now. Yeah, if Houston can't get doesn't get Van Vliet or Lopez, why not just give Reeves a stupid contract? To- What's he worth though? Well, I just think that Houston would look even more retarded doing that because it's going to be hard enough for us to find minutes for you, considering what we have on the roster already. And then I'm going to overpay for you. Well, the Lakers are going to match it. I mean, unless the Lakers are like, all right, take them. Hey, that's my point. Is I'm not willing to let them call out bluff <laughs> because I can't. I would hurt the Lakers. You can't come out on the on the bad side of that twice. Like, oh, first they tricked you, and then you now you're fucking paying. Nineteen million dollars a year for Reeves to play the freaking small. But he was their third best player in the playoffs. I agree. Ooh, Lakers are going in. I see you, Lakers. Free agent Cam Reddish has agreed to a two-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, it's kind of the same as Hachimura. They're big players. I like that. I like. You know, I'm a Cam Reddish. I like Cam Reddish. I like huh? the idea of Cam Reddish. What has Cam Reddish done? He hasn't done shit. He had two really good playoff games against Philly the year that Atlanta mm-hmm. went to the conference final. And, I said, this guy and that's all he's more. done. <laughs> but I, he did so good in those games that I know he can play in this league. And I was like, why doesn't he play more? But that's the question. Why doesn't he play more? With these coaches who see him every day, why don't they play him? Because if you go back and look what they did to him in – in Portland, it's like, dude is not a guard. Like, he's a power forward to me. So that's how Atlanta used him, as a big forward. He don't want to shoot the ball. So, like, what am I supposed to do? I kind of like him as a Ruri project. I mean, they brought Ruri's career <clears throat> back, you'd say. Yeah. So maybe they're hoping for the same Just thing. consider the fact that he is half-ass decent. That means the Lakers not – Including LeBron, your wings are Reddish, Hachimura, Jared Vanderbilt. You brought in Tory and Prince, which your great all go down for that dumb shit. Uh, Gabe Vincent, you probably either bring him back Reeves or D'Lo. I think I'd rather have Reeves, though. They're doing well, though. I, I Yeah, get rid of D'Lo. They don't need D'Lo. Nope. Free agent for Julian Chop uh, Chopagani. I don't know who that is. Finalizes a deal with the San Antonio Spurs. Lame. All right. All right. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Karis Levert stays with the Cavaliers. Thirty-two million, two years. Yeah, I like it. I'm not a big Levert guy, but they need. Nah. Yeah, it's a B. It's a good deal. Good value. I'll give him a B. I, I mean, because, I mean, he's your first player off the bench. I like it. He's going to get you your 12 points. James is it impressed. <laughs> Traded like four times already. I think, I think teams have, uh, I think teams know what, what his ceiling is. But for that deal, it's a good deal. I'm not saying it's an overpay, but enjoy, Cleveland. Yeah, enjoy. Clearly. I think he's just as good as Jetty Osmond, though. I don't think he's better than Jetty Osmond. 
Well, I do, because I think that Levert can actually play a little point for you if you had to. You don't like point jetty? No, I don't. (laughs) (laughs) That's true, but... I'm with you, though. I'll give him a B. All right. Some of these other ones are not the the greatest. We have Drew Ubanks to the Suns, veteran minimum, two years. I kind of, I mean, as a whole, I'll give what Phoenix is doing a B plus. Yeah. For one reason, is all these dudes they're bringing in are big. Kita Bates. So that tells me that I could keep the ball in them other dudes' hand to play the point. I'd like if they trade Aiden. I would love it. Love it. <laughs> but what is his value? That's the thing. Who wants him? What's his value? He's a good center. I think he's better than Phoenix even utilizes him for. But, I mean, he would fit that team well. He's a good player. And as a fourth option, that's a good – Well, that's what – Kendrick Perkins was saying earlier, he's like, if he doesn't do good, it's because he's not willing to. Right. I mean, because if you're the first overall pick in the draft, though, and you're the fourth option on the team, that's like a pride thing. Yeah, because this was Perkins' exact words. He was like, you're playing on that team with three, basically, sharpshooters, right? Three killers who can all go get their own bucket or facilitate. But everybody's not going to play. There's going to be a lot, of, a large portion of the game where the minutes are staggered so you can kind of do your own thing. But Perkins was like, I played with Rondo, Allen, Pierce, and KG. And he's like, I averaged 10 points by accident. Like, just being physical. Like, being, like, energetic. He's like, if you go do, you can get 20 points easy. And I think that Aiton's lazy, bro. I oh, just- breaking news. Uh-oh. Fred Van Vliet has agreed to a three-year, hundred thirty million dollar contract with the Houston Rockets. Ooh, you can't. Are you fucking kidding me? Can't afford Lopez. Maybe. Oh. Did you say three years, one forty? One thirty. One thirty. Got your guy. I love it that it happened. Well, it's actually oh, so. Three years, one thirty. That's forty-three and a third million. Are you, are you kidding? Tell me that the third year is an option. It's Just tell me the third. Year. I can tell you. I don't know if it's true, but it's an option. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. I told. I I just told you that they just made him a ridiculously high offer. Mm. That so I asked Nick this question yesterday, James. What are the Rockets supposed to do if a rookie comes and takes the job from the forty-three million dollar man? That's not gonna happen. (laughs) He's very high on a a men. Very high. I think it's good for you all. I mean. That's a lot of money for a guy who struggled last year to shoot, and that's, like, his biggest strength. But I think it was more of a fluke because he's been a really good shooter his whole career. He's a little undersized. So he's he's frisky, though. He's not like Trey Young undersized. So let me ask you this. If a man Thompson is on the court, can Van Vliet play the two? Yeah, because he did it with Lowry. When Lowry. That makes me feel a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Because him and Lowry actually coexisted very well. There was never drama between who was running the point. Um, and that was a little bit older Lowry, too, with a young buck like, hey, man, I think – I don't know. I think that's good. It gives you that adult in the room, an adult who's not sleeping with assistants. And then, right. Yeah, he can play off of Amen. He can be the lead ball, ball handler. He's a good shooter. If anything, it just accelerates, not accelerating your contending time zone, it's accelerating your playing for the play-in time zone, timeline. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It makes me wonder what we're going to do with Kevin Porter now. Trade him. I think you're right. But I'm not going to lie. It made me feel, I was thinking, I was like, can this little motherfucker play the two guard? Can he play the two? 
And I was like, he can. And then I was like, he can't. And he can. So I had to ask you. And you said he can. So now I feel bad. $43.3 million per Ooh. year on this next deal. That's tough. And, and I know the cap's going up like we've talked about. But every time he has a bad game that he goes three for 11, it's like, oh, good thing we're paying him 43. You know it's going to happen. It happens to any mid-level guy who gets star money. Wait, so how much cap did you have going into this deal? 60. Shit. So maybe get Lopez. Well, now I don't think Lopez is leaving, bro. No. I don't think that the, I don't think he's leaving the. Me books. neither. I was just worried when all these rumors that no, he's he going to offer a shit. Like no disrespect to the Rockets, but like, why the hell would you come here? Like, what? He are you, what are you going to come he here for? Doka. I'll just take no, shit the bro. thing is though, you two seem to feel like, especially James. I know that's his team. You two seem to feel like everything's sunshine and daisies in Milwaukee, yet there is multiple teams calling about what they're going to do whenever they implode and what they'll offer for Giannis. Where there is smoke, there is fire in this league, and we've seen that. There was seven teams that called today asking about what would it take to give me Giannis, and, of course, they said nothing. But every offseason, Giannis isn't happy. Giannis isn't happy. Then he resigns, and then he says – He's never it's said different. anything that wouldn't make me think he's loyal to the Bucks. I don't think he would ever, honestly. But no, he would never demand gotta, a trade. That's for sure. If he puts up his contract, that's he. He can do whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, I love Giannis, and if if the Bucks, we brought in the stupid fucking owner of the Browns. Well, that was a good <laughs> idea to get a guy who owns the Cleveland Browns as one of our owners. And ever since then, we lost to Miami in round one. Now we lost Javon Carter, lost Ingles. We, we were mentioned in the Bradley Beal rumors. Why? It's stupid. I don't. Why do we even have that? <laughs> Booty Holder gets fired. Well, yeah, fu- yeah. They fired Booty Holder because Haslam's like, you know what? New sheriff in town. In Cleveland, we have a new coach every three years. So that's how we're going to do it here. And Stefanski's like, shit. Now what? I'm on the hot seat, which he what? probably is. They bring in a sexual offender quarterback. You know what? <laughs> well, since we're already on your team, James, let's go and look at. Um, you've already lost a few pieces. You lost uh, Javon Carter to the Bulls, Love twenty Javon million Carter. three years. He'd be a great bull. He's gonna be a great bull. I hate to say it. Yep. Tenacity. Fuck. He's gonna be a star, but he always he's just a good player on every team. Plus his ass. He annoys people too. Yep. Full court defense on him. I love I love Carter. I'm gonna hate to see him in the Bulls uniform, but they're fighting for that eight seed. They're pissed they lost in the playing game. They're like we can get back. I I was under the impression that I felt like they were about to blow that team up. Yeah, but then they resigned Vooch, and now they're signing. I know that's what I'm saying. They resigned Vucevic and they gave Kobe White money, and it's like. Damn, I thought you, I was barely certain you are about to trade DeRozan and Levine. How would they run it back? I don't get that. I don't know. I like Who's this? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could still trade DeRozan and Levine, but I mean, I would even trade Pat Williams because he's a little bit of a bust. Who wants Levine, though? A, a team that could use him would be Orlando. What about in December? The, the Blazers are trying to uh, to win, and it's not going well. And they're like, all right, we'll give you Levine for Jeremy Grant picks. I don't think they can trade him until December or January. Oh. Yeah, not until December. I don't think that Orlando would – I mean, Portland would make that – or Chicago would make that trade unless they could get, like, Shade and Sharp also. And I don't see Portland coming off. I haven't signed. But – Simons, I do see, but he got paid. Right. I don't know if the salaries would match unless they were able to dump someone. But <clears throat> I mean, you could throw Nurkic in there with Grant and Simons and send them all to Chicago for Vucevic and Levine. All right. If you had a blank team, you just got an expansion team, you're in Vegas or whatever, who would you rather have right. on their current contracts, Levine or Jeremy Grant? Levine. Because I feel like he could play a lot of different styles of basketball. He's kind of like the Derek Carr of the NBA, now that I think about it. You can put up numbers. You're not going to win shit. But I can see him. Just what, thinking about it. It's one of those. 
he's one of those players where like if you you're only disappointing yourself if you put too much expectation in him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if I just like bring you in as a piece, then I I could get use out of you. He's like that nephew who's like a shithead, but like he does things that like he brings home the girl for Thanksgiving. You're like, damn, he pulled that. It's like he's the shit. He's like, damn, I need this fixed, and he's like, I got it. I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> but you know, it's not gonna work out long run in the long run. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What about Joe Ingles to the Magic? That's a good move. I love Ingles. I'm I'm sad his one year with the Bucks was just a one and done. I think he's a little bit washed. I don't know if he has much to contribute. I don't think. I don't think he could give you like many minutes. Man has a torn ACL. So. That's the thing. He only got yeah. half a year of him, and he started mm-hmm. okay, but defensively not much. Good, good. Well, I'm, I. I'm just saying, like, I seen the Joe Ingles that played for the Bucks in comparison to the Joe Ingles that the Rockets played in the playoffs, like, three times. It was different. Oh, it was night and oh, day definitely. different. He was feisty. And he, yeah. But, yeah, good locker room guy. Pretty good deal. This, good is the, media shooters. this is the reason why Fred Van Vliet got his money. It's going to make no sense, but it's going to make sense. Rich Paul is his, own, is his oh. uh, manager, right? Yeah. Clutch. In the past hours, he's gotten Draymond Green, Jermaine Grant, and Fred Van Vliet all paid. So, <laughs> please just somebody confirm that that third year is a player option. option. What the fuck? I believe I, I, just guarantee the money. Y'all know he's coming back. Like, who's turning down forty three million? Yeah, but I feel with the new deal at that point, you can trade him. Because with the new TV deal that's coming in, I mean, I, but I, and you, from what I'm reading of it is you had to do it after that Toronto deal. Yes. So it's kind of like they forced your hand a bit, but it's like, all right, well, after one or two years, we can trade you, bro. And here's what I'm worried about for you guys, though. And I'm not saying Levine or uh, Van Vliet's a much better player, but like, that cap spike, crazy shit happened. Remember Miami paid Tyler Johnson all that money? And they yes. had to, like, attach picks just to get rid of them? That Oh, there's one scenario I'm thinking about, and I'm refraining from saying it because I don't want none of that juju on this, but this has got Chandler Parsons written all over it. Nah, I don't think so. We got so many <laughs> damn picks from Harden crying to Brooklyn and – we still got it. No, I'm good with it because he could play the you two. You still got trade asses, though. You still got Kenyon Martin's got to be traded. Usman Garuba is going to be gone. Josh Christopher is going to be gone. Jay Sean Tate's going to be gone. More than likely, like we talked about it yesterday, Kevin Porter Jr. is probably getting traded, and we just didn't know about it. So the good thing is, though, there's only like five or six well run franchises in the NBA. So you can't tell That's me. not a good thing. <laughs> well, the good thing is, like, if it doesn't work out, you're like, hey, Charlotte's new owner, you want to make oh, a yeah. splash? You ain't lying. Hey. Yeah. We'll give you Van Vliet for Miller, and then Jordan would have taken it, but the new owner would be like, no. I mean, we'll give you Van Vliet and two picks. Ime did want him. This was Ime's top choice. So, I mean, you give your coach what he wanted. Well, Ime doesn't want to rebuild. Ime, Ime is there to win. <laughs> So yeah. you have to start making some win now moves, and that's definitely a win now move. It doesn't sell any jerseys or anything. It, like I don't think you're. Gonna well, let me be. Let me be abundantly clear as a Rockets fan. I talk shit on behalf of the Rockets almost daily. I'm good at it. My issue is not with Van Vliet the player. It is that we are giving you forty three million dollars. No, I know, but I mean, yeah, do something. I think Canada has a shit ton of taxes too. So going from being taxed in Canada to making forty three with no state income tax, woo. balling boy getting paid. Eh. We're just trading to Dallas. They don't have state tax. Eh. Are one of the Florida teams? They don't have state tax. We'll see. Orlando, yeah. Welcome to Houston, Van Vliet. When Anthony Black doesn't work out, trade him to Orlando. Uh, true that. Speaking of a. Uh, no taxes. Trey Jones stays with the Spurs. Two million, two years. I like it. I think Trey Jones is a pretty good player. I mean, he's probably not a starter starter, but considering all the time and shit they got invested in, they couldn't let him go. It's a good deal. I don't know why there's all this Spurs, like, immediately playoff talk, but. Uh, 
Bro, it's so like what you asked us earlier about the Texas Rangers doesn't apply to them. It applies to the Spurs. I'm so sick of hearing about San Antonio oh, Spurs. Oh gosh, dude. dude. Cowboy fans have merged into all Spurs fans. Like- I'm telling you, bro, the San Antonio Spurs fans in Houston right now are like listening to Dallas Cowboy fans around Thanksgiving. It's like these motherfuckers still got hope because they don't they haven't imploded yet. But we just uh, damn. Today. did you see it? Right. Yeah. They, I have Spurs fans that are friends, sadly, and they're like, dude. You know, where you can literally legit compete for like top three in the West. And I was like, I don't know what you're smoking, dog, but no, you're not. Like, it's just unfair to Wemby. And I think he's going to let them down. And it's not even going to be his fault. Don't do that. Don't do that because he's feeding into it, bro. He's feeding into it. Like, he's leaning into that turn. So I don't feel bad for him. I don't either. Anything he's got. Let me tell you how much I don't feel bad for him. I thought Selena Gomez was a beautiful woman until I found out she's a Spurs fan. You're ugly to me now. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You're a Spurs fan. What did did Charles Barkley say? All San Antonio got is fat girls and churros. I'm sticking with that. That's my thing. All right, we got to do a live for the first Spurs Rockets game. (laughs) Fact. I'm in. That's going to be fun. Oh, man, that's funny. Fred Van Vliet going for 30. Or maybe 43, a point for every million. They did say that. You know, the more I think, I think, Bob okay, Lickner. I could see it. I could see what Van Vliet's going to do for us. I could see it. 18 and 8? No, but, like, he's a, he's a pretty consistent three-point shooter. So, like, if a man Thompson's pushing the ball – like he's the kind of player that's gonna run to the corner, you know. So what's your starting five now? Probably gonna be Van Vliet, Jalen. Uh, if we keep King and Martin Jr., I think he'll start at the three. Jabari Singun. Nah, I think that's how that'll play out. Can Thompson start at the three? See, he's our worst shooter, though. If we were going to do that, I would rather start a man at the one, Van Vliet at the two, and Jalen at the three. Hmm. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, but then you, you're you kind of log jammed off the bench with – you. you'll have Kenyon Martin, you'll have Cam Whitmore, you have Tari Easton, you have Jay Sean Tate, and they're all the same. So we now have twenty five point four million left to spend. Oh, get get <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, though, most of the stuff we were going after kind of got picked up anyway. Like, oh, one hundred percent. So it looks like now they'll probably sign Dylan Brooks and then oh, probably make some nice. trades. Oh, for low. We need a center. We need oh. we need sides on our team. Well, they're gonna probably have to trade for that now. That's one hundred percent what's gonna happen. Is I see a trade coming. Eight. May not be today. No, it's gonna be for a center. Eight. No, I don't Zubac think we can afford that much trades. money. Zubak is available in trades. I did see that. Actually, so they're, they're trying to make space for a James Harden trade over there. So can you get him for nothing? We would have to send them. Let me see. What would I be? Well, I'll give you Jay Sean Tate, who we only pay two million dollars for Zubac, and that way I will not feel bad at all about having Zubac come off the bench. I like that. Oh, I like that. I like that. I forgot a lot. to tell you that that happened earlier today at lunchtime. They said that he was available in trades because they're trying to shed salary for a James Harden trade, so then they can re-sign Russell Westbrook. Ooh, we might be benefiting more from Jane Card being a little twat. <laughs> <laughs> that surprised me. It didn't surprise me at all. I mean, it's not surprising that Harden requested trade, I guess, but I really thought it'd be Houston or Philly. And then I thought it was just Philly. Hmm. I mean, it looks like yeah. Houston fans are not happy with this contract. So. Who? Any, there's not a lot of Rockets fans happy with this contract. It's because we're not used to spending that. Like, we never paid anybody that much money. Never. And it, yeah, some of the richest deal in history. The, the, team. the thing is, the thing is also, it's like, we got to remember, most of our guys are young, still on rookie contracts. So it's like, 
you yes. have money to spend. It's we've been in the lottery three years in a row. Like, bro, I don't want Zuba. <laughs> I already accepted the Van Vliet shit. I was mad, now I'm sad, and now I'm happy again. So now I need Zubak. And I mean, he did have better. a 20 and 20 game. I mean, no, it was against Charlotte Hornets, but he had a 20 and 20 game. That dude plays good in the playoffs, too. Like, he, he, he's a good player. I mean, I like my him. biggest thing for the Fred Van Vliet thing is I can't knock you, bro. You played with Siakam. So it's like. Mm, maybe he'll get them to bring the Siakam with him. Oh, hell you're, now you're just trying to <laughs> sweet talk me. <laughs> the three stages of the Fred Van Vliet. We paid him how much? You know what? He can play. <laughs> we can do that too, or... Now he wants to do, like collective hate on uh, Pasco. Now you're just sweet talking me. You know what deal? Not to jump completely, but say in the Western Conference, what deal I was genuinely kind of surprised by, just because all the report, reporting before it was different, was Harrison Barnes. Everyone said the Kings were going to get rid of him and sign a splashier guy. I was a little surprised they gave him the bag. I, I mean, did they give him the bag? It was like 16 a year for three. But I didn't think that they – I thought that he was the – 20. I thought he got three years 52. Oh, was it? Okay. I thought it was yeah, I think he got three for 52. Um But even then, I felt like he was the weak link on that team. Oh, 354, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of thought that too, and I, I thought they were going to improve that position. I don't think he has mm-hmm. a ton of trade value either, so I don't get it. Mm-mm. I mean, Duarte, you traded for him today, but I mean, even still, you should have did. Like, I thought that would have been a Kuzma spot. Unless, unless I was, was going to say they talked to Kuzma a couple of days ago, and he's like, no, nah, I'm not coming to Sacramento. And then it's like, okay, what else are we going to do with this money? Hey, Chris Middleton, no, nah, I'm saying Milwaukee. Well, fuck, what do we do now? Hey, Harrison. Mm-hmm. You, A1 says day one. Like, I could see that. They just blew through their options. Everyone said no. I still don't think the Kings are a sexy market, even though they have a fun team. I don't know that they're going to do as good as they did last year. No. I think they're another team that might be a playing team this year. My opinion, but you know, Sacramento fans don't like us anyhow. Yeah, so they're gonna fall. Away. Screw you guys. I'm going home. The beans yeah. gonna be a little fall less. Sacramento ain't winning shit next year. <laughs> Dang, Houston. Give me Dylan Brooks before the night's over. Come on. If we're gonna do crazy things, let's just do it it's all. Away. Walking, Brooks. I think it'd be a good spot for y'all too. I need someone since we're what is like Right before we get off, you see the Brook Lopez. Dylan Brooks wants Harrison Barnes money though. He want what did you say, Nick? He wanted like over three, two years, thirty six or something. Know. Yeah. When your last team says you're not coming back the day after the playoffs are done, or that you're out of the playoffs, <laughs> teams aren't paying you that much. Houston just might just give it a minute. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Whoa. Says that the Rockets are now aggressively going after Dylan Brooks and Brooke Lopez. Oh, uh, uh, uh. You don't need Lopez. You don't need him. We don't need him. I think we're legitimately no, kind of screwed if Lopez leaves, though. And I think he's staying. I agree. I think he's kind of like Middleton, <laughs> but um, yeah. Well, y'all are screwed in the sense that y'all can only afford to go over the luxury tax because he's y'all's player. Right. And like, if he leaves, y'all can't go sign him. He was almost defensive player of the year. He shot the lights off mm-hmm. from three, which might go down this year, mm-hmm. sure. But he's the perfect center with Giannis. You're not finding a better fit. <laughs> what? You're a Bucks fan. Let me ask you this. I always felt like he was a better teammate to Giannis than Middleton. Meaning, like, he made the game easier for Giannis than middle. Well, yeah, he took away – Giannis doesn't have to protect the rim anymore. Giannis can uh, kick it out. He doesn't clog the paint. I mean, Middleton doesn't either, but he's the the perfect compliment. And he's feisty, too. He he defended Giannis a few times when he got scrappy last year. Oh, it'd be bad. I don't even want to think about it. I'd be be pretty down if if correctly. I don't know who this guy is, Chris Roberts. Uh, senior lead NBA insider for BN Sports. Um, what do you say? He says that 
where you put Brooke Lopez will not be returning to the Bucks per league sources. Ooh. That's all he wrote. I, I was looking at the thing. I don't know who he is though, so he's not one of my credited sources. So I'm just letting you know. He's a nobody. He does look like a nobody now that I start looking at him, but well, how many followers does he have? 400. So <laughs> oh yeah. But I'm not saying I have like, is, a lot of followers he's either. From but Wisconsin, I'm, also, so it's like, I'm not reporting shit. But it's very weird because a lot of his tweets get like mm-hmm. seven thousand, forty-two thousand, like type stuff. Wow, shit, it's weird. I don't know. Maybe he got hacked. I don't know. <laughs> and then somebody said that the Rockets overpaid for our guy that, and that they ruined free agency. They told you on NBA TV to start the day that we were about to ruin free agency a lot of because we had so NBA much money. NBA fans are like, the Rockets overpaying for this has ruined it because now my team couldn't get Fred Van Vliet. And I'm like. That is going to be a topic, a subject on Bayou City Boys, but I'm going to bring it up now. This is actually one of the first moves that Raphael Stone, our GM, actually had to make as a GM, and he might have screwed it up. We don't know yet, Whoa. but. It feels like he overpaid for it. Yes. I said, we'll take a deeper dive in it. Um, top free agents for mid-levels, of course, are still Christian Wood, Dwight Powell, Jock <laughs> Landell, Mason Plumley, Paul Reed, Mo Wagner, and Cody Zeller. If we get Dylan Brooks at $15 million and we can get Jock <laughs> Landell, like, the rest of the money we have, then that would make me happy because I like Jock Landell. Hey, that dude... Awesome. He basically, in my personal opinion, he should have took Aiton's spot. Um, teams interested in Terrence Davis, Boston Celtics, Milwaukee Bucks, Dallas Mavericks, Toronto Raptors. Right now, I want to move the needle. Mm-mm. For anybody, I wouldn't play it. He'd be one of those guys that Bucks get and then don't play. Then trade yeah. in January. The Bucks are kind of rude like that. Like you have to be like drafted to to make the rotation there. They do it every year. They sign these two like two or three old vets, and then they trade them off by the deadline. I mean, they did it with y'all in the Tucker trade when they fucking thought DJ Augustine still had something left. Or, uh... <laughs> the only person that actually got traded for and brought in that got minutes was I mean, other than Holiday was. Um, the little white boy. Connaughton. No. Grayson. The troublemaker Grayson from Duke. Allen. Yes, Grayson Allen. Yeah, he's one of he the got, ones. He got run. That was the good thing it. though, now that I think about it, like I love Carter and I love uh I like Ingles a lot, but now this gives Bo Champ more minutes. And yes, and sir. uh Bud would never play rookies. So I could see the new coach yes. giving Bo Champ. I like that. All right. I'll I do it. We need Brooke, though. Oh, man, I'm stressed. All right, what's next? <laughs> we grade them all? All the good ones? I think that's pretty much it. I mean, there was only, like, Reggie Jackson stays with the Nuggets. I like that. I'm surprised by that, too. I don't like Reggie Jackson when the playoffs start. Before then, he's just a guy. Re- playoff Reggie, he comes to Mr. play. Mr. October. Um, yes, sir. You got... What was the name? Georgie, Gor- Georgie, Georges. Oh, uh, Georgie yeah. Jang. Uh, to the well, the one from Philly to the Cavs. Niang, Niang, yeah, that guy, yeah. Wow, Niang to I the like Cavs. That, actually, because he's a good shooter. And he plays that, defense. Hey. Twenty-six mil, three years. What? Hmm. Three years, tw- so he got like eight and. Eight point seven a year for three. That's not bad, because he could eat up minutes at the small forward, and it might put Amani Bates back at his natural position at two. I like it. Um, let's see. What Jabari Parker's on our summer league team this year? Oh yeah, he did. I thought Jabari Parker was signing with Phoenix. I thought that too, but now he's on the Bucks summer league roster yeah. with Taco Fall. <laughs> Taco Fall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shaq Milton to the Timberwolves. Shake Shake milk, two million, two years. Uh, nothing really else. Troy Brown to the Timberwolves. 
Ime Udoka reportedly swayed Rockets from James Harden reunion. Thank you, Coach Ime. Yes. Really? That's the article in our local paper. That's awesome because that would have been dumb. Thank you, Ime. We love you already, Ime. Even though James Harden said he didn't want to come back to Houston because of the things that Jalen Green had said about him on Paul George podcast. Who cares about that guy? We didn't want him back. Like, do, we do not do good with that kind of shit. Like, we talked about it the other day, like the Astros and Verlanders. Like, no, you left up state. No, it's like, we don't I don't like how Philly treated my free agency. Like, what do you want them to do? Roll out the red carpet and give you a max? Go to the Clippers. He's a perfect Clipper. He is, but everybody's <laughs> kind of trying to sympathize with the dude because of all the money he turned down to try to make the team better. And I was like, well, I don't give a shit. It's not our problem. It's his fault. Yes, you you literally have ruined three teams in three years, and you're trying to find your way to a fourth. I don't feel bad for you. Go to the Clippers, and if I'm the Clippers, I'm not trading Paul George for him. Nope. Well, they said that their plan is to not trade George for him. Their plan is to. Thanks, man. They're going to trade. and Tyrese Max. No, because you got to match the money. So at the very least, I'm giving Norman Powell's twenty Mark. million to go that way. And Probably Marcus. Maybe, Ooh, well, you already declined Eric Gordon, you so you might have to send like Robert Covington. You could do a three team deal, though, also have somebody else send some True players. Yeah. But yeah, Zubac, probably Zubak to the Rockets, James to the oh. Clippers. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're getting somewhere. Eh. And then I don't know what Philly uh, wants. Um, the last Who's winning free agency so far. Who's winning free agency so far? I would have to say no one's really done anything super unexpected, except the Kings getting Barnes back. I thought, and then the Blazers overpaying Grant, but neither of those were wins. I kind of like what the Lakers have done so far. Ah, that's a good point. I I hate to say it, but yeah, maybe the Lakers so far with what they have and what they've got. Because it doesn't it feel like a lot of these teams just did what they were supposed to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all. If you it look is. at contending they, teams, I don't think anyone's added all around on the fringes as well as the Lakers so far. I think the other than the Lakers, the only other team that I can honestly say got better was Indy. But they're not a contender. But yeah, no. right. I agree that that's probably the only team we got a little bit better. And the Nets kept their shit together. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Unless there's a big trade about to happen. Or Lopez goes somewhere unexpected. I think it's going to be a lot of just. I think the the lack of move, like movement in free agency, there's going to be a lot of trades in the next few days. I think, like team, nobody's heard a word about Minnesota. Do they know that they're in the NBA? Yeah, they signed two people. I mean, they're not a. Uh... They're running it back, bro. That's why. You think Cat gets traded? Uh, no, they're running backwards. You're not running it back. They said we're running it back with our two big men and Anthony Edwards. He's off of Popeye's this. chicken. And Rudy Gobert <laughs> didn't go to France this year, so it's it's fine. Trade Cat. You stayed in Minnesota over going to France? Uh, <laughs> you know, trade Cat. You're not getting shit for Gobert. You made your bed with Gobert. Yep. I don't know where if I'm if I'm uh Minnesota, I'm I'm gonna try to sh- send uh Big Cat to the Knicks because they obviously are willing to move people. I think you could get depth and young players on your team from them if you're the Minnesota. I would want <sighs> quickly topping oh. those two for sure. But then I have to, like, e- either they're going to have to include RJ or they're going to have to include Julius Randle. I will not want Randall unless you need him for salary. It would have to be for salary. Um, I don't think they'll be willing to come off of Quentin Grimes, but I think they'd be willing to come off of McBride. Hmm. And, or if you had to sweeten the pot and they'd be like, no, take Randall, then it's like, all right. I don't think Jack can handle the New York media. No, well, he's gonna say dumb shit. By the time his career's over, he's gonna be the best center. In the well, world. no, he's gonna walk into Madison Square Garden and point up there. He's like, "There's my jersey. He's gonna be right there, right next to Ewing." And 
That dude believes his own hype from 2K. I don't know. I agree with that, though. Lakers won night, what are we, three hours into free agency. Everyone's just chasing the Spurs, right? Say it again. I was being smart-ass. I said everyone's just chasing the Spurs now. <laughs> All right, that's where we ended because we're at an hour already, <laughs> and I'm tired of hearing about Victor. What's your mama's name? Um, NBA fans, let us know what your teams did. Charlotte, of course, you don't do anything, so we didn't expect you to be here. Um, Minnesota, you're right there with um, Pacers did something, but. Let us know what your team's doing, what you think of these deals. We'll be doing a lot more NBA ones going forward. I'm sure, especially once free agency is over and all these trades that are probably about to happen, move on. Make sure you like, subscribe. We are out of here, NBA fans. Later. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.